oh, I need the weekend or Mr. Able to just stop like acting. I'm sorry. I have not seen the show. So like, don't even get mad at me. Also, smile, follow me. I post whatever I want. Subscribe. That's kind of the rundown. I, oh, so, okay. So first of all, we all saw the idol clips going around. It's five episodes now. It was supposed to be six episodes. Some person who said they were part of payroll said it was going to be five like ages ago, but media's posted that it was going to be six. It ended up being five. Apparently it's not over. It finishes this Sunday. Um, actually, so yay, tune in, I guess. But also, I need people to like stick by what they say. I have like a whole problem with the fact that no one's like boycotting stuff, except like Republicans, which is kind of why bad things are happening to a lot of companies and like the LGBT is being pushed into the closet. But that's a whole other that's a whole other video that I gotta make. So <clears throat> we, uh, you. Uh, so the original writer was going to make it like female centric and able the weekend seems to be like the worst person alive apparently because he was like I don't really like that if I'm going to be starring in it I don't want that to be the story so that person left and then um so then they wrote I don't know who it is the guy who wrote I think it was the guy who wrote Euphoria right I don't know his name like Alex something or I don't really know I don't care I'm not in tune with these people who cares about that guy like he's already a menace to society I would not I'd rather not learn his name but he they decided to make the plot that this girl is going to be exploited physically by this r wordy guy I, i'm trying to do the little thing to go around censorship there's dialogue where he's like where she's like i don't know that guy seems kind of r wordy and she's like yeah i don't know i kind of like it what's going on i like that man already has a problem with writing just <sighs> violence against women just for the sake of it like these things don't really progress the story and for this one unfortunately it does and obviously i'm not saying these things have to happen to progress the story of anybody because like it happens in life and it does not make anything but make things bad for people but in this story she gets exploited physically by this man who also was like so bad at acting like it just feels like he's talking even when he said the f slur which i know he was dying to say he was like write that in write that in i feel it in my bones he wanted them to write that in um just so he could say it <coughs> he can't act the whole plot for this one is she gets exploited and then she gets better with her music so i just saw a clip for like the recent episode and it's like apparently she used to be like abused by her mother and he was like, did you like that? Like, are you kidding? And he was like, why didn't you defend yourself? She was a child. I don't know who's, who, I don't I have no, I can't, I'm not a writer, but I could surely write something better than that. There's so, you can do so much with like trauma to like build things on it. Instead, instead, mind you, they regressed and was like, he was like, do you still have the hairbrush she used to hit you with? And she was like, actually, yeah. And so he proceeds to hit her with it. And then she's like, oh my God, that makes me want to write. And I like this song now and she's vibing with it. And everyone's like, this song's terrible. So she's in this like delusion of like, this is empowering. And this guy's just getting to take advantage of her. It's crazy. And he's like, how she was like, and there was this point where she defended herself. And she was like, how long have you been in the music industry for? Because he was like talking about, I don't remember, he was saying something about her being a sellout or some sh But she, there was a part where she was, like, getting a little bit of spine, but then she gets into this whole thing, and now she's getting hurt, and, like, he's exploiting her physically to be, like, you can't make, like, a voluptuous, like, sensual song without, like, actually knowing what you're talking about, so he's using her for his benefit. This is crazy. Unless that man ends up in a ditch in the end of these episodes, this is, like, there was no point in any of this story. There was no point in writing any of this. It is so bad. It is nasty. And people, like, before, before the interviews, before the show even came out, this guy, like, that, that whole premise of, like, this woman's going to be exploited and it's going to make her feel empowered in the music and making her write better or something. She's going to take it as, like, a good thing. Like, as a good thing. Taking being assaulted as a good thing. Y'all are crazy. I, this man hates women or something, allegedly, right? Allegedly. Because that, like, why would you write something like that? What do you get out of that? This is just, like, making women go through, like, the most wretched stuff for no reason. For, like, trauma? Like, I guess? I'm, I'm omitting a word. You know what word I'm omitting. Trauma, like... You know the word. Popcorn with a, missing a couple letters. Trauma popcorn. We'll say that. For the sake of it. For the sake of it. Like, what? That doesn't do anything. And, like, obviously not everything has to be transformative. And not all art has to mean anything. But it could at least be a lot better than that. Because, like, there was already a lot of discourse with, like, Euphoria and being like, why did he write something so wretched for literally no reason? And, uh, I mean, I've asked people to explain this story of Euphoria to me. And, like, they could not for the life of themselves. So, like, th maybe write things that make any sense and have a point come on my god but yeah 
like before it came out, there was that point. There was like this is the synopsis. This is like what the show is gonna be about. And then um, there was this little bit where it like from the a little clip from the show, and it was like the weekend was talking about Vanity Fair or something. And the girls like, yeah, aren't they a little like past their prime or whatever? And then he was like, oh, did we get you guys mad? And like Abel, Abel needs to stay off the internet. Oh my god, that's why I'm telling you. That's why I feel in my bones. This man was like, I don't want to like hit this woman on the screen i want to say the f slur like and he also can't act my god and there's been clips where he's like voice acted in i think like american dad and, and a couple other things i think that again man can stick to voice work because like facial work and like on screen camera acting bad bad oh i've seen like third graders do better and it could make more emotion like good lord because this man needs to stay off the internet because that was part of the thing. That's what he retweeted that little clip. Because I think Vanity Fair or whoever the pre people were did end up actually being like, oh, this is being controversial. This is bad. And he was like, oh my God, did we make you mad? And then there was this other post where someone was like, name somebody who just like, I don't remember what it was. But they were like, I'm not going to say his name, but we know who they are. And he found it. Mr. Abel, the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, found it. And was like oh my god i need to tell people i need to get like people's attention to tell me who to like and not like or whatever and i'm like you need to stay off the internet and you're a loser you're a loser like you're already like you performed for the super bowl a halftime show and you care that bad get off twitter get off twitter dude whoa like i have not listened to this whoa my god oh my god it's ridiculous and then the guy who wrote this show before like when there was a controversy about what the premise of the story was going to be he was like and I turned him, there was an interview where he came up and he was like, and I turned to my wife and I was like, we're going to have the biggest hit, like the biggest show of the summer or something. You're gross. You're gross. Like, yes, all good. All press is good press or people say, no, 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 good. press is good press. That was bad press. And people, what blew my mind more, some people need to stick to, like, of course we're in the suspension of disbelief that this is just media that they're like showing this is a show this isn't real life but you should still be like that's a bad premise and you shouldn't support that or want to support it because why was there people the week before it was coming out were like i am watching the idol tonight or like when it was coming out they're like oh yeah i'm excited this weekend i'm gonna watch the idol what do you mean you're gonna watch the idol who is watching the idol oh my god on max by the way max not hbo max get out of my face y'all are sick like i was like you're actually gonna watch that like that sounds like the worst show i've ever heard about in my life and they're like, no, 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 like, The weekends did it. That doesn't, that's not a good point. That's not a good reason. And they're like, by the writers of Euphoria, did you hear the premise of the story? Don't watch that. Do not support that. And then, like, for the first, um, show, for the first episode, it did, like, 97,000 or, or, like, it was, like, but less than a million. Like, which is good and bad. I think it's bad. Um, but it's also, like, I think, well, no, it's, I think it's both on HBO and HBO Max. So it's, like, I think it should be doing better. And no, I don't think that shit, that shit should be on screen anyways. But, oh my gosh, y'all need to stick to your guns and not freaking watch this stuff. You should, like, respect yourselves a little more. Watch something good. I don't know. Like, Max has an arsenal of good media that you could watch, and it could not be that. Ooh, y'all are sick. Like, that's lame. Like, I, I'm i sorry. No, actually, I'm not sorry. There is things you shouldn't watch. Like, if you watch that, I'm gonna, like, spit in your face, if I'm being honest. Unless you tell me that you watched it on some sa site instead of paying for Max. I have Max... I would rather save my, I would rather cancel my subscription than watch that. Be serious. I don't even use my HBO Max that much, but like, you know. <clears throat> but you're using your Max for that? I would rather you find another way to watch it. I would rather read a book. I would rather read a book. I would rather read the dictionary than watch that show. Are you kidding? Y'all are lame. Y'all, like, I know people consume bad media all the time. Like, I, I know it. We know it. You know, there's things people watch that you're like, okay, sure. Like, fine. If you think so, if you think that's good but it's not and you should feel bad and i'm gonna make you feel bad if you watch that you're lame i i i go to work soon and i'm gonna tell my i'm gonna ask my coworker. i'll be like how was it how was the show oh i'm mad like i'm mad and that we I, the weekend abel i hate him i'm so like i have beef with him now like i don't i didn't even like him before but now i'm like i actually personally have to dislike him and like oh my god i'm so, <laughs> I'll probably come back when episode 5 comes out. And if there is an episode 6, then that. But, like, I'm pretty sure episode 5 is going to be it. And they wanted to market this movie. They wanted this to be so big. They had that video of her crying, like, in front of the camera. And she's, like... And, like, she's, like... And then, like, paparazzi slashing. And she's, like... And she's, like, crying. And there's, like, the, like, the single tear. Dramatic. Fun. Cool, I guess. 
but they wanted that to be that pearl clip so bad. They wanted it to be like Twitter's next thing. It's not. It's not right. Good shows. And then also like, wasn't isn't she like a Depp, like the Johnny Depp? Gross. But also like nepotism. I think she acted okay, I guess. Like, I've seen a couple clips, and I was like, okay, she looks like she's, like, trying. <laughs> like, she looks, she's doing a hell of a lot better than the job than The weekend. My God. Whoa. Don't watch that show. Don't watch that show. If you're watching it, you suck. Um, I hope it is really bad. I hope it just wipes off the face of the internet, and I'm sure it will. Because, like, I'm, there's not really anything memorable about it. I've only heard nothing but, like, bad things. And then Abel can't stay off the internet. Even though you're like a millionaire, like, get help, go home, close the phone. Oh my god, you can't care that much. You can't care that much. You're like a celebrity. Like a celebrity celebrity. Come on. Oh, y'all are sick. And that's all I had to say. Bye.